Imagine a small craft drifting through the silent emptiness of interstellar space. It is Voyager, a machine built by humans, now far from its blue home world. Propelled by a long-ago planetary dance, it moves silently, a testament to human ingenuity. Voyager is more than wires and circuits. It's a symbol, an emissary from a world teeming with life and curiosity. It carries the hopes and dreams of its creators, a ghost ship on solar winds, bearing precious information. This spacecraft is humanity's greeting to the cosmos, a whisper across time and space. Voyager represents our desire to know what lies beyond, to connect, and to understand our place in the universe. Its instruments have revealed the mysteries of the outer planets, rewriting our understanding of the solar system. Voyager is a robotic explorer, our eyes and ears in the far reaches of space, yet, it is also a storyteller, carrying not just data but the essence of human experience. It is a cultural ambassador representing all of humanity. Now billions of miles from Earth, Voyager is a silent testament to our spirit. It tells the story of a people who looked up at the stars and felt wonder. They built a ship for discovery, not conquest, and they sent it on a journey into eternity. Attached to Voyager is a unique message, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, the Golden Record. It's a time capsule telling the story of Earth to any civilization that might find it. The odds of discovery are slim but creating it was an act of hope. Like a message in a bottle, it's cast into the cosmic sea. We are island dwellers, wondering if others look back at us from distant shores. The record shares the sounds of our planet, waves, crickets, thunder and the hum of our technology. Greetings in 55 languages reach out in friendship. 115 images depict our science, cities and people, eating, running, learning. The beauty of Earth, from mountains to deserts, is captured in a visual encyclopedia. The hope, that another civilization could decipher these images and learn about us. The record also contains 90 minutes of music from around the world. Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, and folk songs from many cultures form a symphony of human emotion. This music transcends language speaking of love, sorrow and celebration. It is the soundtrack of our species, a melody sent into the void, a song from a small distant world hoping to be heard. Voyager's journey was made possible by a rare planetary alignment. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up on one side of the Sun. This cosmic event, occurring once every 176 years, offered a unique opportunity, the Grand Tour. Using gravity assists, Voyager could visit all four giants in a single journey. Each planet's gravity would slingshot the craft onward, saving decades of travel. The window was narrow, the launch had to be timed perfectly. NASA's engineers raced against the clock to build two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Missing the window meant waiting nearly two centuries for another chance. The Grand Tour was more than a mission, it was a legacy. The alignment was the universe opening a door, inviting us to explore. Two spacecraft were built to ensure the journey's success. The stage was set for humanity's greatest adventure. The dream of exploring the outer solar system was about to become reality. Voyager was ready to answer the call. Building Voyager was a monumental task, using technology primitive by today's standards. Its computers had less memory than a car key fob, yet it was built to survive radiation, cold, and time. Every component had to be perfect, no repairs would be possible. Solar panels were useless so far from the sun, instead Voyager used a nuclear battery powered by plutonium-238. This design allowed it to send data for decades even into interstellar space. Voyager's instruments, cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers were the best of their time. Each was chosen to answer fundamental questions about the outer solar system. The spacecraft was a symphony of systems, robust and adaptable. Software updates from billions of miles away kept it going. Redundant systems ensured survival. Voyager was built not just as a probe, but as a survivor, carrying humanity's curiosity into the galaxy. In the summer of 1977, Voyager 2 launched first, followed by Voyager 1. Voyager 1's faster path meant it would reach Jupiter and Saturn first. The launches marked humanity's reach for the stars, full of hope and risk. These robotic explorers were set to travel farther than any human-made object before, their mission to visit the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager would transform these distant points of light into real worlds. Voyager 1 would use Saturn's gravity to head toward interstellar space. Voyager 2 would continue to Uranus and Neptune, making first-ever close encounters. The Grand Tour was a bold, elegant plan, a cosmic dance choreographed from Earth. The asteroid belt was the first challenge, but both Voyagers passed safely. 
With each day, they moved farther from home, their signals growing fainter. But they were closing in on their first destination, Jupiter. Anticipation built as we prepared for our first close look at the king of planets. The age of planetary exploration was about to begin. In 1979, Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter and sent back images that stunned the world. Jupiter was revealed as a world of violent storms, with the great red spot a churning vortex larger than Earth. Lightning flashed in its clouds and intricate bands of color showed a dynamic atmosphere. The real surprises came from Jupiter's moons. Io was the most volcanically active body in the solar system, its surface alive with eruptions. Europa's icy surface, crisscrossed with dark lines, hinted at a hidden ocean beneath, raising the possibility of life. This discovery was revolutionary, opening new places to search for life beyond Earth. Voyager also found faint rings and new moons, revealing Jupiter as a miniature solar system. The data completely rewrote our understanding of Jupiter and its family. The diversity and activity of these worlds exceeded all expectations. The grand tour had begun with spectacular discoveries. Our view of the solar system was forever changed, Voyager's journey was just beginning. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 set its sights on Saturn, famed for its rings. In 1980, Voyager revealed the ring's complexity, thousands of ringlets, sculpted by tiny moons. Saturn's moons were equally fascinating, Mimas with its giant crater, Enceladus with a bright, active surface. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, had a thick, hazy atmosphere rich in organic molecules. Voyager's flyby of Titan provided crucial data about its mysterious atmosphere. This maneuver sent Voyager 1 out of the planetary plane, ending its grand tour. Voyager 2 continued, reaching Saturn in 1981, and heading onward to Uranus and Neptune. The discoveries at Saturn transformed it from a distant beauty into a complex system of worlds. Rings were dynamic, moons had atmospheres and the potential for prebiotic chemistry was real. Saturn's secrets deepened our fascination with the outer solar system. Voyager's legacy grew with every encounter. After the giant planets the Voyagers pressed outward, toward the edge of the Sun's influence, the heliosphere. This magnetic bubble created by the solar wind, marks the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. One of Voyager's ultimate goals was to cross this frontier. For years the spacecraft traveled through the outer heliosphere searching for signs of the edge. In 2012, Voyager 1 sent back unmistakable data. Solar particles dropped, cosmic rays surged and the magnetic field shifted. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 entered interstellar space, a historic achievement. In 2018, Voyager 2 followed, confirming and expanding our knowledge of this mysterious region. Today, both Voyagers are billions of miles from home, farther than any object we've ever sent. Their power is fading, soon, their instruments will fall silent. Eventually, they will drift as silent wanderers through the galaxy. But their legacy endures. They have changed how we see our solar system and our place in the cosmos. They are testaments to our curiosity and courage, and they carry our golden message, a greeting from Earth to the stars. The journey continues, even as their voices fade. Voyager's story is humanity's story, written across the stars.